You're going to go in the middle of the jungle, sit with a bunch of strangers, cry your eyes out with a bunch of strangers, and puke. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla. I'm super excited to film today's video. It is very different from the content I normally post. I'm always super open and honest with you guys and I love taking you along my journey of life. This is part of that journey. And I know this might be like a controversial topic and some people might not exactly know what it is. I'm going to explain a little bit in this video so maybe you could have a better understanding. Today is March 20th. 1st 2023 and in two days actually like one and a half days i am going to be flying to you want to get out i am going to be flying to costa rica and i will be staying in nozara costa rica for this plant medicine retreat now the plant medicine that i will be doing is called ayahuasca i'm going to explain to the best of my knowledge um what this is i do want to say i am not an expert so if you are thinking about doing ayahuasca and you want to do the proper research just go look at any other video um i'm not an expert on it i am just going to sit with ayahuasca and don't mind the sunburn oh my god it looks so bad on camera but i'm just going to sit with ayahuasca um i've done my own research but i highly recommend if you are thinking about doing it definitely go look at other videos this video is just simply to document my experience and how i'm feeling before i go and kind of explain to you guys what i'm doing so that being said i will explain it to the best of my knowledge so ayahuasca is a plant medicine. It's like a brew mixed between two vines. So ayahuasca does come directly from the Amazon, which is why I'm doing it in Costa Rica. I definitely want to do it in a more traditional setting for my first time. There is actually a place four minutes away from where I live that does ayahuasca ceremonies and it's called uh, Soul Quest Church of Ayahuasca and it's in Orlando. It's literally four minutes down the road from me which is literally insane i feel comfortable saying that because i am moving out of here by the time you see this video i won't even be living here anymore i went and visited there and i could just feel the energy and it was so amazing but i chose to go to costa rica instead for my first time i am thinking about uh doing it at soul quest eventually but i don't even know because i haven't done it yet it is a plant-based psychedelic tea and i have never done any psychedelics before the closest thing i could think of that i've done is weed i've never done on shrooms i actually was feeling called to do shrooms back in august and since august i felt called to do shrooms however i am doing more research on that as well as i don't know where's a good place to get it from because it's illegal in most places so yeah i might do shrooms after i do ayahuasca i don't know i know it's really crazy that i'm just jumping straight to ayahuasca i've never done any psychedelics before but i don't know i just felt really called to Sit with ayahuasca it does cause you to hallucinate and i've just heard really crazy things pretty much changes people's lives and i am at a point now where i have done so much shadow work and i have done as much work as i could possibly do and i'm just kind of stuck in a hard place because there's quite a few um irrational fears that i have that like give me intense anxiety that i cannot lead back to any point in my life i cannot figure out why i'm afraid of these things or figure out like how to overcome these things i'll give you an example one of the things that really like triggers me is people knocking on the door and like i'm terrified someone's gonna like break in and kill me that like that's never happened in my life before i've never had anything like that happen so i don't know what on earth is causing me to have that fear i've been that way since i was a child and another thing is my eating disorder arfid i have been getting a lot a lot better i'm going to talk about that in the next video i've been doing a lot better with my eating disorder and i'm hoping that ayahuasca can help me heal it hopefully heal my anxiety so those are the main reasons why i am going i am also going to get clarity on my purpose and um, that's one of my intentions for sure however it's interesting because when i made the decision to go to ayahuasca i had no clue what my purpose was really i had an idea but i wasn't sure i also wasn't anywhere near close to healing my eating disorder i wasn't close to healing my traumas at all lately i've heard that ayahuasca makes her way to you before you even take the medicine and she most
most definitely did because I just already almost feel her energy It's really weird to say that especially like a lot of people are probably like, oh my god You're on like some woo-woo bullshit, but I'm into the woo-woo bullshit, okay? And it's not bullshit to me, but anyways I've been doing a lot of healing lately and it's really crazy that like wow Like I can do this before I even take the medicine. It's insane So I'm super grateful that I've already done a good amount of healing as well before I even sit with ayahuasca now you're probably thinking you're going to go in the middle of the jungle sit with a bunch of strangers cry your eyes out with a bunch of strangers and puke that's one way of looking at it but I don't necessarily look at it that way I look at it as a bunch of strangers coming together and healing from our traumas and I have a really good feeling about this trip I think everybody is going there for very similar reasons so one thing that we all will have in common is that um we're taking ayahuasca together so that'll be super cool to meet people that are like-minded because i don't want to say that i don't have a lot of people around me that are like-minded because i don't really put myself out there i don't really go and make friends or anything so um the friends that i do have are like-minded to me however um, in my area and whatnot. Sorry, the sun's going down. Um, in my area and whatnot, like I haven't really met many people. Um, I met a couple, but like I'm a small circle kind of gal. So it'll be cool to be around like 30, 40 people with like the same mindset almost, like that's into the same stuff. So that's cool in itself. Like I'm super excited. To my knowledge, normally what happens with ayahuasca is you get a call to go sit with her. Not a phone call, but like it's kind of like a phone call. It's like an intuitive call, like you feel drawn to the plant. Um, I have like a whole entire list that I wrote down of like the signs that I got because it's just so many. Um, I'll probably make a video on that eventually, but I'll tell you like a couple of the signs. So when I first heard of ayahuasca like a couple years ago and my friend's friend was telling me about it and they were just like oh my god like i threw up so much blah blah, blah. and i was like yeah i don't want to do that like heck no like not trying to do that not for me good for you though but like me no i'm not i hate throwing up and yes this medicine can make you throw up it doesn't always make you throw up i guess but it can either make you throw up shit or there's other ways to purge um did i just say shit yeah, I just said shit. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Like, it can make you go to the bathroom. Um, and pretty much what that is, is clearing out of all of your traumas from your body um, and getting rid of it and making you feel lighter. That's what I've heard. Um, I'm interested to see what that's like. Now, that being said, initially, I didn't want to throw up, right? Like, who wants to throw up? I kind of want to. I know that sounds weird, but I kind of want to. I'd rather throw up than poop, honestly. And you would think it'd be the other way around, but... I don't know like I think I would rather just throw up and yeah but I kind of want to just because like I feel like if I don't I'm gonna be sitting there the whole time like am I gonna throw up am I gonna throw up am I gonna throw up I hope I just throw up um and like I hate feeling nauseous so hopefully I'm not one of those people that's like sitting there nauseous and not able to throw up um but I'm I'm really going into this with the mindset of surrender and just letting the medicine do her job um and connect with her so and the reason why i say her is because she's described as a plant spirit and i guess you feel a very feminine energy while um you're sitting with her so it's not necessarily a plant you're connecting to a spirit in a sense so that's why i'm saying she her but yeah some people might think i'm crazy i don't care i believe it i believe that she exists okay um and i'm going to experience it so we'll see we'll see i'll i'll let you guys know the tea like once i'm done sitting with her but this is like really crazy and like another reason why i want to do this is if you know anything about me or my story and you've been on my youtube channel a while you'll know that i've been in and out of mental hospitals um when i was a teenager and that uh, i have had really bad thoughts and had depression anxiety you name it adhd um i don't have depression anymore it's mostly just anxiety yeah so I've heard that ayahuasca, like each ayahuasca ceremony can be described as 10 years worth of therapy, which is super, super intense. Um, 
but I kind of have therapy trauma and I don't necessarily want to go see a therapist and I've come to terms with that. This past year, I've just been like, oh my God, I gotta find a therapist, I gotta find a therapist. I make up all these excuses like, oh, I don't have health insurance right now. Oh, it's expensive. Like, it's really not that expensive. I'm paying the money to go do ayahuasca so i definitely could pay the money to go see a therapist i just have bad experiences with therapy in general and therapists in general my last therapist literally talked crap about her clients in front of me and told me that everything in my life was trauma now a lot of things in my life are trauma yes but she said like every little detail in my life was trauma as far down to me sharing a room with my foster sisters which I don't look at that as trauma. I look at that as normal. I don't know, um, but she pretty much told me everything in my life was trauma. Try to diagnose me with PTSD, which I might have because I've had a couple therapists tell me that I might have PTSD, but I honestly was scared to confront it and scared to deal with it at the time. Um, I feel like ayahuasca is going to be different for me because I'm not sitting there with a physical human person yes there's gonna be people around me but i am sitting with a plant spirit who will guide me through my traumas which i feel like might be a lot more comforting than a human sitting in front of me now i'm not saying this is a replacement for therapy i'm just saying therapy hasn't really been the best for me and i've been um intimidated to go see a therapist for several reasons i've seen many in my life and some have worked some have not um but it is difficult to see a therapist i'm not gonna get into the reasons why you guys probably know it is very difficult to find a good therapist i will probably see a therapist at some point in my life but right now I'm good with ayahuasca. I've done a lot of healing and inner work on myself and I just need that little bit of like breaking a barrier almost of like to let me see what else is in there um, because I have a feeling my ego is probably blocking a lot of stuff or just like me in general just blocking a lot of traumas that I don't want to see or even past life traumas. So I'm super curious to see what is going on inside of my body. Forgot to tell you how I really got the call. So like, I watched an ayahuasca doc documentary. I actually watched a couple back in December and um, I think like a couple days later or so, I don't really know the timeline, but I was on the phone with my friend Tori and I don't really know what we were talking about, but for some reason I told her that I wanted to go sit with ayahuasca which was very strange because to that point, I didn't really want to. But even after the phone call, I was like, I don't know if I really want to do that. Like, why did I say that? It was almost like my soul speaking through me. Like it, like my ego was literally like, uh, no, we don't want to do that. Like, heck no, like don't bring me there. And I actually told her on that phone call that this YouTuber, Aaron Dowdy, he does these ayahuasca retreats and that I, I was actually about to go last year, I think when I lived in Jersey City, I was about to fill the form out, but I looked at all the questions and I looked at um, why I want to go and I was just like, yeah, I actually don't know why I wanna go. So then I just never filled it out and it's probably a good thing because I just wasn't ready yet. And then this time, the day after that phone call with my friend Tori, guess what happened? I get an email that Aaron Dowdy is hosting an ayahuasca retreat. And I'm like, okay, weird. So I watched the video on the website or whatever. And at the time, like, you know, I'm like paying off of thousands of dollars on my teeth right now. I just got my teeth fixed. You guys probably know the story with that, but I had to pay a lot of money for my teeth and I've been paying a lot of money for things here and there. I've been paying off a lot of debt. I have money, but like I didn't really think that I had the money to go to this retreat. So I looked at the pricing and it said like 3,000 something to like 7,000 and I looked at it and I was just like, yeah, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> um, I'm just being honest. Like I was like, oh boy, like that would be tight. That would be really tight. And so I watched the video and instantly I just had this gut feeling of like, I gotta go. I don't care about the money. I don't care about what it takes for me to get there. I have to go. And it's hard to explain that feeling, but I felt this pull towards her. And I was just like, okay, I will make this work. So I ended up filling out the form and I hesitated actually. I was like, I don't know if I should fill this out because I don't know if I can afford it. And then I was like, you know what? Let me see um, what payment plan options they have and just fill it out 
and see what happens and talk to the person on the phone and just see the vibe see how i feel i didn't want to like waste anybody's time but i was just like you know what? i'm not sure like you know, I was kind of sure, like I was sure I wanted to go, but it was just kind of like the money holding me back, right? And so for those like few days after I filled out the form, I just felt so drawn to it. And I was like, I hope there's a way, like I can make this work. I really hope there's a way. And when I tell you, I get on this phone call, um, the person I spoke to was Patty. I felt such amazing vibes and I just still felt this pull. And I was like, oh, like I have to go, <laughs> like, I have to go it just felt right like it felt like i had to and like it felt like there was like no saying no to it like i was like this is what's going to help me and so i put my deposit down here's the thing like, like she told me like the payment plan and i ended up having to spend a little bit more because i was on a payment plan but i was like okay like my flight ticket all that i was just like overwhelmed because it was so last minute like had i had like time to save up and stuff like i would have been gucci but like i was just like shit like tax season's coming around i have like so much to pay for i'm going to japan soon i'm literally doing so much i'm moving out soon this is like it's weird because it almost felt like the worst timing possible but at the end of the day divine timing you know like i trust it so it almost felt like the worst possible time to do this financially because i'm paying for so much but then i was just like you know what i'm going to put my deposit down worst case scenario i lose out on my thousand dollar deposit you know, if I can't come up with the money next month, um, I lose out on my $1,000 deposit. So that's the worst case scenario. So I was feeling a little bit stressed um, a couple days after that. I'm like, shit, how am I gonna make this money this quickly? And so this is just like a fun little story, right? About manifestation. I, I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, Kayla, like you are a master manifester. Like you know how to manifest, like stop being stupid like you can literally do this i even like felt a presence with me i don't know if it was ayahuasca i've never felt any spiritual presence in this apartment ever i've felt presences before in other places but in this apartment no and i felt the energy of something i don't know if it was ayahuasca it was something and so i said okay ayahuasca if you want me to come sit with you provide me the funds to come and so I booked my flight ticket. I booked a flight ticket that literally, I kid you not, like this is part of manifesting. Like this was risky as heck because I had, again, I have so much to pay for right now. I booked my flight ticket, a non-refundable flight <laughs> because I was like, okay, there's no turning back. Like I spent like almost thousand dollars on a flight ticket too. And I was just like, okay, no turning back. I'm gonna make this money. <laughs> and I kid you not, the first month I doubled doubled my income like what and then the second month i had to pay i tripled my income it's literally insane because at first i thought that i was going to have to save every single penny down to the last dollar to pay for this trip and that was not the case at all i was literally provided with as much abundance I needed from the universe to pay for everything, not even just this trip, but to pay for like my moving, to pay for Japan, to pay for literally everything. And I am oh so grateful because I was stressed a little bit, but that just goes to show you like how manifestation really works and like how much I felt called to ayahuasca. So sorry to go off on a little tangent, but like that's kind of the story of like how I was feeling towards this trip because I was like, oh my God, I have so much shit to pay for. Um, how am I going to make this work? And it ended up working. And also, as soon as I get back from doing ayahuasca, I'm moving a week later. So it's going to be a crazy ride. How I'm feeling about this, I guess I'll tell you how I'm feeling. Um, it's weird because I have really bad anxiety. Not right now, but like I have really bad anxiety. And for something like this, I would assume that I would be afraid. I would be scared and I would like really not necessarily be excited um but it's actually quite the opposite i'm like so freaking ready i kid you not like i'm i've just been like literally almost every day i've been telling my husband like i could do it tomorrow like i literally oh i could do it today i want to do it so bad i want to sit with her so bad and like i feel like at the time like when i go to do it like i'll probably be like fuck what am i doing here <laughs> 
but right now i'm just like so chill about it and i'm like all right it's happening let's go let's go let's do this i'm like so freaking ready yeah that's kind of how i'm feeling i don't really have fear i wouldn't even say i'm necessarily nervous i'm more nervous for like m to make my flight honestly because i have like a 57 minute layover <laughs> um but i'm like more nervous about that than i am doing ayahuasca honestly I'm more nervous about doing breath work than doing ayahuasca i feel like the things i'm the most nervous about is um not necessarily being able to keep the tea down in my system people say it tastes really bad and i'm worried that i'm going to throw it up for a sip that's what I'm the most nervous about. And then the other thing I'm kind of worried about is taking the ayahuasca and like not feeling anything at all, which I don't think is gonna happen, but I've heard stories like that where people go to ayahuasca ceremonies and don't feel anything or don't see anything. They don't experience anything. And then they're just sitting there for like six, seven hours doing nothing so that's kind of one of my concerns but like i don't think that's necessarily gonna happen because i'm so ready and open and just ready to surrender myself to her so 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 excited and this is something that is very new for me again i've never done any type of psychedelic before um but it's definitely gonna be different and I'm really hoping to heal some trauma. So in the next video, I am going to be talking about how I am preparing for ayahuasca, including the diet and, you know, cause you have to be on a special diet beforehand and like all the things I'm doing intuitively to prepare. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, also, this video is pre-filmed. Um, you guys will be seeing this after I've actually already done ayahuasca mainly because I really didn't want any external opinions. This was a decision that I made for me and only me, and I didn't really want any to hear anybody's opinions on it just because I know how the internet can be, and I didn't really want anybody to push their negative beliefs onto me. Um, so I hope you can respect that and understand that. That is why I did not share this ahead of time. This video is going to be coming out way after I've done it. I have told my parents and, um, some close friends and of course haruki knows but those are about the only people that know nobody else really knows that i'm doing this so should be interesting make sure you hit that subscribe button to see more videos on my ayahuasca journey and um, leave a comment down below if you have done ayahuasca or if you have felt called to do ayahuasca um or if this is your first time hearing about it i'd love to know and yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video and i will see you in the next one.